OCA. Ocala. All right, 10 minutes before 11 o'clock. Every day there's something new in the world. This morning I was reading this article about a self-making bed. Now, this is perfect for me, Robin. Oh, so okay. I don't make my bed. So, oh, I mean, if, so if I got this robotic device, yeah. I don't know exactly how it works. I, I didn't see a picture of it, but can you, <laughs> can you imagine this? You get, you get out of bed and, like, I don't know, the thing just makes itself. That's, that's creepy. I, oh, can you imagine if it did it while you were sleeping, right? <laughs> I wonder if it has a timer on it, and if you decide to sleep in, you're done. You're yeah, just... <laughs> you're, you're all wrapped up. You're all wrapped up. Everything is, everything is automated now, right? Yeah. The, the, this, what, Pittsburgh... Tempe, Arizona, and San Francisco all have Uber self-driving cars. Just yep. drive. Oh my gosh, I haven't been in a self-driving car. I'm still old-fashioned. I want to go buy a car. The old-fashioned. There's going to be an app for bu- for buying a car. It's mm-hmm. going to it's going to pick out your car for you. Exactly. How tall are you? What sex are you? That's right. You know what what is your hobbies? Okay, you get a Toyota. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Uh, I like it the old-fashioned way. Peter Levy is on the phone. He's a pioneer in the consumer automotive information space. He's a founder of IntelliChoice. Oh, don't tell me this is an automatic car picking out thing. He's the creator and CEO of the car buying site called Car Jojo. Well, I'm okay with sites. New tips and tricks to help better negotiate that new car buy. Good morning, Peter Levy. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning, Larry. I'm fine. Nice to be here. Uh, Thank you. So the last time I bought a car, it was be- I had to buy a car because I hit a cow. So my other ca- <laughs> yeah. so my other car was dead. No, I am not joking. That's really what happened. And, I, and I'm a big guy, and I bought a small car. And and you know the car dealer said, yeah, this isn't going to work out for you too well. And a month later, I got a bigger car. So he was right. I should have listened to him. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm not. I don't know if I'm any good at this whole this whole idea. <laughs> what, well, what kind of tips do you have? You'd have a lot of company if you don't think you're very good at this, because most people don't think they're very good at it. Oh, really? Eighty-seven um, percent, to be exact, of Americans hate buying a car. Oh man! And, and think about it. Uh, you know, it, it, it's the only expensive good in the country that's negotiated. Everybody pays a different price for the same thing. So half of those people are going to pay more. And the other half. And there's a big imbalance, and that's the problem. You you walk into a car dealership, and you don't know um, the information about the car. You don't know about the market. You don't know really about how to negotiate, and the dealer knows all of that. So it's a pretty tough uh, situation for, for 87% of all Americans. Wow. So do you have more leverage uh, regarding getting a good price if you walk in with the cash? If you have the money up front instead of having to, uh, to finance it? No, actually, I think it's kind of the opposite. Um, and that's one, one, one tip for people. If, when you walk into a car dealership and, and the salesperson is selling you a car, they know they also want to sell you a loan. And today, the dealer often makes as much or even more money on the loan they sell you than on the car they sell you. Really? So if you walk in and you say, I'm going to pay cash... The dealer says, well, I can't make any money on a loan with this customer, so I have to make all the money I'm going to make, I have to make it on the car itself. But if you walk in and say, I don't know how I'm going to finance this car, maybe I'll finance through you, he may be more flexible on the price of the car, thinking that he'll also make money on the loan. So that's a tip. Don't, don't tell the dealer that you're going to pay cash. And it's, it's, it's very scary doing that, you know, going to a car dealer, because... We, as a consumer, are saturated with uh, car commercials all the time, everywhere, and there always seems to be some kind of sale going on. So I think to myself, well, how come they have to have all these sales every day of the week and not just have bottom line pricing? Well, there's two questions there, Robin. That's a good question. First of all, the real, why are there balloons? Why is it always festive, always sales signs? Because... The dealer wants to get you out of your routine. If you're in your routine, you're going to be very protective of your money. But if it's a special occasion, you know, that's a time to spend more. So that's why it's always festive and, and, and everything else at a, at a car dealership. Um, but, but you, as the buyer, um, can get 
a better price if you just educate yourself a little bit. If you spend just a little bit of time, you can be the person that pays the lowest price that day on any particular car you buy. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking at your website right now. This is pretty fascinating stuff. I already picked out a Buick. (laughs) You have a Buick. (laughs) I know. I like my Buick, but I I could use a new one. And and so this is going to help me save money. Oh, absolutely. Um, Car Jojo will help you in two ways. You will, if you want to go into the dealership yourself and do it all yourself, we've got a wealth of free information that's not just generic like do this, do that, but very specific to this one car on this one dealer's lot. What price should you pay for that one car and why? And you can use that to negotiate that price for yourself. Or if you're the other kind of buyer and you don't want to deal with that, you just have us do it for you. It costs $199, and we do all of the work, and we get you, we guarantee you the price that you see on the site. Um, And all you have to do is go literally write the check and drive home. How do we avoid impulse buying? (laughs) And we take our time going from dealer to dealer. I just impulse bought right now. I'm I'm, I'm doing it right now. (laughs) Well, that's a really good point. One of the things I tell anybody is have a bottom line. Have a price, and you know if I don't get this price, I am going to not buy this car from that dealer. Have that discipline. If you don't have that discipline, you'll probably end up paying too much. But it's easy to have that discipline. It just takes the willpower to say, I figured it out. I know this car. Twenty-seven thousand five hundred. If I can, if I have to pay more, I'm going to leave, and you'll end up doing much better for yourself. Oh my goodness! Okay, I you got to go to this website. It, this is fun, but I, I'm I'm having a hard time confirming who I am. <laughs> oh, I have to put my phone number in there. That's why I see. Is somebody going to call me? No, at Car Jojo, no one's going to call you, and that's one of the key differences. Uh, if you go to one of these sites that promise transparency. They'll ask you for your email and your phone number, and then you'll be mercilessly spammed. Um, uh, car Jojo doesn't do that. Uh, we, we only work for you. We don't work for the car dealership. Whether or not you use Car Jojo, my advice to people is if you go to a site and they ask you for your email or your phone number, and they don't say, we won't share this with third parties, don't put in your email, don't go to that site because you'll be spammed like crazy. Okay, so if I were to buy, I think I'm reading this right, if I were to buy a 2017 Buick Encore Premium, the manufacturer suggested retail price $32,880, you can save me $1,455 by using uh, JoJo, Car JoJo, right? Well, I'm not seeing what you're seeing, but if you're on Car JoJo, yes. Wow. And, and that is, we, we measure our results and our results are almost 100% of the time better than any other third-party site that claims to help you. So we we'll, can save you more and eliminate all your stress. So it's really a win-win. Can you get used cars on here or just new cars? Unfortunately, it's not for used cars. And okay. used cars are a good deal, but not what we, we can't help you with those. Okay. Oh, yeah, because new cars, you can guarantee more than a used car. We can guarantee you the price on a new car. We guarantee you the price you see in Car Jojo is the price that you'll pay. And the price that you see is, is going to be a great price. Nice. Uh, but on used cars, you know, there's so many differences the condition, the mileage, who you're buying it from, that um, it, 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 it's, a, it's a smart idea to buy a used car, but you've got to be extra careful. I could be an Uber driver. If I just, if I just went for the black, ver- the black one, mm-hmm. that looks like an Uber car to me. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. Uh, this is a gr- Oh, I love this one, Peter. Thank you for uh, helping us understand what this is about. Uh, for the listeners, the website I went to is Car Jojo, J-O-J-O, carjojo.com. You'll see what I'm talking about. I want to share this with our car guy. He comes on on Tuesdays. <laughs> Uh, Peter Levy, thank you for being on the air with us today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. That was fun. We'll take a little break. We'll be right back. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. 
News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. A first public hearing on Russian interference now underway before the Senate Intelligence Committee. We're going to get to the bottom of this and do it right. Democratic Senator Mark Warner from Virginia promising to work together with Republicans. They are beginning with leading national experts on cybersecurity, also on Russia, as a way to set the table, lay a foundation for future discussions. Fox's Catherine Herridge. Lawmakers in North Carolina confirming they've reached a deal over the use of public bathrooms by transgender people. They have to get enough votes in the House and Senate so the replacement for last year's law known as House Bill 2 can reach the governor's desk. Speaker of the North Carolina House Tim Moore says the bill will first go to the state Senate. Social conservatives in the state's General Assembly wanted the previous law to stay on the books. Fox Radio's Tanya J. Powers. Fox News. We report. You decide. 